When are we homesteaders, though? Because we're doing it. But let's see how we get on actually keeping some animals alive, shall we? Ooh. <laughs> Either hold it or don't. I don't know if I want to be a farmer. Hey, my love. Today is a really exciting day. I keep looking up here, up the driveway, because I'm waiting for K-Man to come back. He has just gone to our local market to collect something that I am so excited for. Something that I have wanted and dreamed about for years. <laughs> you might laugh at that fact. And it is laying hens. Yay! He's gone to get eight laying hens and a rooster. I'm not sure how I feel about the rooster. Um, we'll see how he works out. I mean, if he doesn't work out, he could end up in the stock pot. Just saying. <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure which breeds we even have. I don't know very much about laying hens. It's all a learning curve for us. Obviously, I've been researching how to take proper care of them, uh, but I don't know much about the different breeds. And all I know is that he panic bought them. So we'd been looking at this website, this local provider. They look like really lovely establishment. And he'd been looking at this website for a good like couple of months in preparation for all of this. And he kept putting it off and putting it off. And I was I, I think you're nervous we're gonna have to just go for it it's one of those things a bit like having a baby you're never actually ready you've got to just kind of jump in at some point <laughs> and he went online one evening and they'd started selling out and so he panic bought <laughs> eight hens just one of each of the varieties that he could get hold of <laughs> so who knows how that will end up um, I'm hoping we have a mix of egg colors because that would just be beautiful and delightful um, but we're very excited we've been really busy getting ready to look after them so ordering feed Kayvan has been making a Justin Rhodes I don't know if you know of him style chickshaw as it's called so a moving um, coop like a rickshaw get it <laughs> and we had quite the time uh, trying to get this thing to the chicken field as we're calling it so we're on seven acres here just shy of and pretty much all of it is hilly um we basically bought a small valley <laughs> and um and the chicken field it's quite flat where we're going to be putting them or at least for now but it is on the other side of the the dip Oh my goodness, we just came up this bit. I'll film the terrain so you can see what I mean. <laughs> that was so challenging. It's really steep. Oops. Oh, <laughs> really muddy. And with that awkward chicken coop face. Oh my goodness. At the same time, I feel very alive because we're doing it we're doing this homestead life all the way up there it's so muddy like absolutely no purchase just got... <laughs> Your base <sighs> in situ. Oh, oh. I don't know if I want to be a farmer. <laughs> 
I'm still sore from that and that was like two or three days ago <laughs> so and literally that morning I'd just done some yoga outside felt so good the sky was just all different shades of pink as the sun was coming up I should have filmed it but I was just in the moment and so enjoying it and I was thinking oh wow I don't think my body has ever felt so free of tension maybe it's just because I'm living my dream life in this magical place now <laughs> and now literally a few hours later I'm there like ow 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 <laughs> carrying this really heavy wooden base uh, up this treacherous muddy slope and slipping several times luckily didn't end up on my ass even though that was quite the task it took us like the best part of an hour to shift this thing to to where it needed to be i just felt so good in in that moment the two of us just doing it doing this whole homesteading thing he was like we don't even have any animals yet and i'm like but we're doing it we're outside we're working together we're we're doing the thing i'm curious maybe you know the answer to this at which point are you actually a homesteader like do you need a certain number of animals? Do you need a certain like variety? Like just chickens doesn't count. Um, do you need a certain size of land? Do you need to be producing a certain amount of stuff for yourself? I know there's probably not really like one answer, but I'm curious, like at which point will we decide like, yeah, we're actually homesteaders now. I don't know. This is just something I've been thinking about. Like, when are we homesteaders though? Are we still just wannabes? I feel like we are still just wannabes because we're very new to all of this. Um, but in the kitchen side of things, I'm much less new to a lot of the skills that I think are gonna really stand me instead um, as we get into this adventure of raising, producing our own food because I'm not a stranger to fermenting. I've been back on my sauerkraut game, which I'm just so looking forward to being able to eat that first jar that I've made. It's been a while since I've made any and I freaking love sauerkraut. Oh my goodness, I'm literally just salivating <laughs> thinking about it. And I've been buying a really nice brand for locally, but I'm like, why am I buying this? I should just be making it again. very much back in my sourdough rhythm that feels really good um, and I'm looking forward to just bringing in and layering back in more and more of those kind of homestead kitchen skills I guess I've actually got literally next to me right now some bone broth on the go prior to traveling that was an absolute staple in our diet most weeks I was making some kind of bone broth it's just so nourishing especially in this weather I've been really craving it so yeah that side of things I don't feel like such a wannabe or beginner but let's see how we get on actually keeping some animals alive <laughs> shall we hello <laughs> how you feeling Tired. Oh, this camera's gonna be so so wobbly. My arms are aching from carrying them up. Surprisingly heavy. Box of chickens. How do we put them in? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> their, their wings clipped. No. Sorry. Either hold it or don't. <laughs> Sorry, don't I drop it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't. I'll just stand here. How about that? I'll stand here with the camera helping. There you go. Hey ladies! You're not frightening when you feel high this jacket. <laughs> Don't grab the box on the way out! Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, your little perch. Your little perch. I'm 
I'll take my pet this. See our chicken pals, see what the ladies and one gentleman are up to. Slowly getting used to us, I think. Settling in. Hello, sir. Did it? We got chickens. Some chickadees. Ten years. I've wanted chickens. <laughs> Stop seeing the chickens again today. K-Man is fitting an is that an electric door yeah. to the chicken coop. Pretty cool. What you been doing? It's really lovely just coming up here and spending time with them. I just love their little noises. They're so sweet. So until next time, my love, regardless of whether your dream life involves chickens or not, go and live your dream life. Bye for now.